At Mobile World Congress Shanghai, Qualcomm unveiled its new under-display fingerprint scanner on the already existing Vivo phone, the X-Play 6. The fingerprint scanner can work on OLED displays up to 1.2 millimeters thick and 0.8 millimeters of glass and 0.65 millimeters for aluminum. It also works underwater. The technology is new and still needs a lot of work apparently as the fingerprint sensor only works on a small section on the lower area of the phone display. And it takes about one second to unlock the phone with your fingerprint as opposed to the usual instantaneous unlock. People were expecting to see this technology from Apple first, but fans of Apple often believe that the company takes existing technology and makes it better. And in this case, I can imagine that will be true. I'm, I'm sorry, Android lovers, but uh, you know, I just say it as it is, you know, unbiased reporting. I'm just kidding, this is a very biased show. But, uh, anyways, let's move on. The Windows Fall Creators update is expected to have a number of security upgrades, one of which includes fighting malware with the help of AI. Windows Defender Advanced Threat Protection will use data from Redmond's cloud-based services to create an AI antivirus that will make the service much better at preventing cyber attacks. One of the AI's features will be the ability to instantly identify any unknown malware on a computer, quarantine it, and create a signature for its identity, thereby protecting other computers from being infected. 96% of cyber attacks use new malware, so hopefully this helps lower that percentage. This update will come to enterprise computers initially, but Microsoft plans to roll it out to consumer PCs as well, eventually. Today, Netflix has brought support for the Dolby Atmos 3D sound technology. The movie Okja is the first film to feature the surround sound with Blame, the live-action Death Note, and Bright to follow by the end of the year. This surround sound allows filmmakers to designate where sound comes from in a 3D space, which sounds pretty awesome. But to get Atmos, you need an Xbox One or Xbox One S, as well as an Atmos-enabled home theater system, TV, or soundbar. But actually, 2017 LG OLED TVs have built-in Atmos capabilities so you don't need an Xbox One if you've got uh, one of those. That 77-inch TV just started shipping today for $20,000, so you're in luck. Atmos also can work with headphones when you download the Dolby Access app from the Xbox Store, which is probably the cheaper option. But yeah, I mean, if you got the money, feel free to invite me over, man. Or girl. Or, or girl. You can do that too. It's time for shorter news stories and more quickly than the others. So we've heard that the refurbished Galaxy Note 7 will be launching in South Korea, and it's actually launching July 7th as the Fandom Edition. It will be launching in some other countries as well. Yeah, so the Note 8 is coming out soon, but this one, this one's for the fans. Can't think of any other reason why you'd want to forget about the Note 7. It's for the fans, guys. Google has launched a major redesign on the desktop Google News website to more resemble the Android experience and Google Now. Speaking of Google, you can now sign up for early access to Area 120 app experiments like the social YouTube app Uptime, Supersonic Fun Voice Messenger, and Adver, a VR advertisement app. An Overwatch public test region crash log was recently spotted, making references to Doomfist in summer games. This has made Overwatch enthusiasts hopeful that Doomfist will be the next character to join the game. Ubisoft CEO responded to the fans expecting a Splinter Cell announcement at E3 with a Splinter Cell announcement now, saying they're still working on the premise for the new game, but it is coming, just probably quite a while from now. Splinter Cell was the first campaign that I really got into, so I'd be pretty stoked for a new one. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCX forum post linked in the description. My name's Jeff. Hey guys, this month is nearly coming to an end, so make sure you subscribe to our newsletter and you'll be entered to win a Shimono cordless vacuum cleaner. Claim your newsletter points and you'll be entered as well, because sometimes you buy all your components and then you're too poor to take proper care of yourself and clean your room, so we'll help you get your life together. Click over here for more info on that. Alright, that's it for Netlink Daily. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos and check us out on Twitter right over here. But as always, like the video if you liked it, comment below for fans with benefits, and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. And love you and take care and uh, yeah.